I'm sorry, I can't hear what you say. I'm sorry, I... Oh, hello everyone, and apologies. You would think, wouldn't you, given the current climate, that we'd have more time to do these reviews. Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? But I have been quite busy with gardening and shouting bile at the television, and the idea to do this video didn't come to me until nine hours before the event that it's supposed to coincide with. So if it ends up being somewhat late, then I can only apologise. Anyway, to mark the planned mass rewatch of The Doctor's Wife, here are my personal thoughts on it. Of course, I could do a straight up review saying what I like and don't like and whether the episode overall is good, but seeing as you already know the answer to that, dear viewer, what is the point? Where's the mystery or originality in that? You're not clicking on this video thinking, oh, I wonder whether The Doctor's Wife is any good. That's like learning your car has been doused with petrol and wondering if that makes it flammable. Of course it makes it flammable, you doltish nitwit. And I can't just do a one-sided review citing the problems with The Doctor's Wife either. That would be more unexpected and original, yes, but it would also be like cutting a kitten down the middle of a machete. A needlessly cruel exercise for something harmless that brings people great joy with seemingly little effort. I mean, could you? Is there really that much to criticise? Even the only legitimate argument that I can think of, that this episode works better if you're a fan of the show rather than a casual viewer who's watching the show for the first time, even that's somewhat undermined by the fact that there are plenty of other episodes that suffered much more seriously from this kind of problem, the timeless children being just one of them. And we will be doing the Series 12 overview soon, I promise. Hopefully. Probably. Anyway, as soon as we've established that reviewing The Doctor's Wife is a pointless exercise, no seriously, we have, this video is a little rougher than usual, and is more focused on how the story affected me personally and changed the way I saw the Doctor Who universe. Barely any time wasted, brilliant pacing, not since Series 1 has the pace of the show been so perfect, captivating frolicking around with language and words as Idris or the TARDIS gets confused by tenses and which greeting to use when. A plot that loses none of its power even when you know what is happening, which is impressive. Honestly, did no writer ever think before to place the consciousness of a time machine into the human body to see what would happen? Neil Gaiman, one of the world's most highly regarded and in-demand fantasy writers, expertly realises Stephen Moffat's vision for Doctor Who as a dark fairy tale, and does so in his own fashion, combining horror, Burton-esque whimsy, humour, both dark and light, character work, sci-fi, emotion, coat hangers, washing machines, everything you possibly expect from something as genre-defined and populist as Doctor Who. Okay, r right, you caught me. I I I'm just rambling. I don't actually have that much to say about this story. Like I said, what is there to say? But one thing I would like to take this opportunity to say, something that the other day made me realise the impact that this story had on my perspective of the Doctor Who story as a whole, which would of course be Spaghetti Junction, where it's an actual physical place. You will note that around about the 25 minute mark, there's an exchange between the Doctor and the TARDIS, where it transpires that, yes, she didn't always take the Doctor where he wanted to go, but she did take him where he needed to go. Surely that sums up Doctor in a nutshell, and explains so many of the things that have happened over the years in the show. I've lost count of the amount of times I've used that to explain what was happening, why the Doctor always turned up where he did just as things were starting to go wrong. All those plot holes and things that didn't make sense about Doctor Who, explained by Gaiman in one foul swoop. I really have nothing to say about The Doctor's Wife, other than it's a fun masterpiece I could watch a hundred times. I hope you all enjoy the watch along if it hasn't already happened. I'm off back into my cave now. Goodbye. <laughs>